was this? Was this a Bridgestone Multimedia Group is presenting this? Apparently, not me. Turbo Selbar. It's uh, yeah, it's Captain Bible in Dome of Darkness. Just like I said, I was gonna do it. Uh, here we go. Once a city far from us in place and time, which had been imprisoned in a, there was a city which had been imprisoned in a dome of darkness. In vain, the Bible Corps sought to free it from its captivity. They would have lost hope, but for one last desperate plan that called for the help of their greatest champion. Yeah, you know who it is. Yeah, that's right. It's, it's Captain Bible in Dome of Darkness. Uh, possibly the weirdest game that I played as a kid on DOS. And I uh, managed to find it on Abandonware, so that was cool. Um, Alright, here we go. Ooh, that's uh, annoyingly loud. Wow. Oh, hello. I, I came as quickly as I could. Ah, there's nothing to brag about. No need to brag about that, Captain Bible. <laughs> Thank you for coming, Captain Bible, as I asked you to come here because the city had been taken by the enemy and we haven't been able to break his hold on it. He planted a tower of deception inside, generating a dome of darkness. That dome is actually an anti-truth field. Uh, uh, thanks for clearing that up. I appreciate it. It makes people very prone to being deceived. That would make sense. <laughs> Why don't we just storm the city and take it by force? Yeah, do that. No, it's, uh, we, it's because we've only been able to open a small hole in the dome. And that hole is very unstable. So how do I fit into this? Ah, Captain Bible, I don't want to hear how you fit into holes. It's funny you use that phrase because we are sending you through that hole into the south. Oh, oh, no. Uh, so what do I do when I get inside? Your mission will be to knock out the Tower of Deception, which is generating the dome. All right. How do I do that? You will need to use the city's Unibot. Uh, we'll put you as close as we can to it. But you'll need to get help from seven other people in order to operate it. That's seven. That's the number. That's the number of the Lord. Right there. Well, or is three the number of... I can't remember. I'm not part of this sect, so I don't know what they care about. Uh, can I expect any resistance? Yes, the enemy has been building deception ciphers that are programmed to feed lies to their victims until they forget the truth. Wow, how can I combat them? Each cipher is protected by a lie, so it takes just the right verse to get past the lie to attack the cyber. Uh, guess what the verses are from? Because uh, it ain't from Dante. It's not, uh, it's not from the Iliad. Uh, it's, it's only from the Bible. Yeah, yeah. Be careful. Even if you've defeated a lie, you still have to find the cyber's weak point. What about the people inside? You'll need to help for, you'll need help for the people inside, but by now they are probably all deceived. You'll need to break their deception before they will help you. Should I expect problems with my computer Bible? <laughs> oh, oh, thank God, at least I have a computer Bible. Your computer Bible might be damaged by going through the field, so we've been sending scripture, sending in scripture stations where you can get verses for it. Uh, yes, I saw them outside. Uh, you did? Oh, okay. Uh, how will I know where to find them? You should already have the maps that we sent you. <laughs> They'll show you where the station should be. Well, hold up! You can put maps on there, but not text? Okay? Uh, it's okay, well, I better go. Before you go, I think that we should pray. Lord, please help Captain Bible on this mission. Mission, please keep him safe and let your truth overcome the darkness of deception. Amen. Amen! <laughs> okay. So, just so in case you're wondering. Alright, it's, yeah, it's me, Turbo Selbor, the infamous uh, degenerate, the degenerate gamer. Yeah, you've seen it before. Alright, so basically, I've been wanting to do this game for a while. I found out it's only two megabytes, so it's very easy to, like, install and go. I'm just going to play in normal mode. Alright, so basically, how this game works is... You are Captain Bible, and the goal is very simple. You gotta use the power of scripture to save the city from the devil. And that's what I'm gonna do. Now, before you get mad, I am actually a Christian, so this is not cultural appropriation. However, I am not part of this sect. I'm not part of this denomination or this weird Christo-fascist movement. So the thing is, is their description of scripture and what it can do is a little, uh, shall we say, magical. And it's going to be very fascinating for those of you who are not familiar with this particular insane sect. So let's see. Verse loaded, Genesis 1.27. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God, he created him. Male and female, he created them. Plural. Uh, only, only plural days going on here, I'll tell you that. Uh, so these Bible uh, things. A verse loaded, Psalms uh, 7.16. The trouble uh, he causes recoils in on himself. His violence comes down on his own head. 
Okay, well, let's just, let's just gonna walk in this door. Now, I, I played like the first 10 seconds of this game, so I know what's gonna happen. So there's this robot in here, and it doesn't matter what you say, just what you do. This is the lie. Of course, it's more nuanced than that, but yeah, let's be honest. The Bridgestone Media Group, they don't know about nuance. They don't know what that is. It wouldn't know nuance if it hit them over the head. All right, so uh, let's see. I, it doesn't matter what you say, what you're gonna do. Well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna use Psalms. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you the verse. Oh, shot me in the neck. It, uh, that hurt. It hurt pretty bad. All right, so I'm just gonna gather some more scriptures because I'm gonna need them. Uh, my son, if sinners entice you, don't give in to them. Agree. Don't do not do it. <laughs> don't let it happen. Uh, let's see what's over here. What's in here? Oh my god, it's a chapel. Lord, please restore my faith. Thank you, Lord. I believe. All right, I'm just going to leave. So that's like a save station. This is a really interesting period of time where like... There were, these, there were these very conservative Christians who were like, we need to use the computer for the Lord. And the problem is, of course, this video, this was also during the satanic panic, which hasn't really ended. So the thing is, is that they're just like fixated on like the Bible will like make this holy. So uh, the tongue is also a fire, a word of evil. I'm not going to read them all. I, the reason I'm not going to read them all is because, A, you probably watching this don't want to see it. You want to see a queer guy go through this game. That's what you want to see. You want to see a queer guy go for the uh, be the best Captain Bible he can be. So here we go. I'm going to beat this robot. Yeah, you know what? You shot me in the neck. Well, I'm going to tell you something. It doesn't matter. Say what you do. Well, no, no. I have uh, James, James 316 right here. I'm going to shoot you in the skull. I couldn't do that before because I had to have a verse that allowed me to do that. And now I do. So it's fine. All right, here we go. I got one of these. The robot designs in this are incredible, though. And I'm going to say this right now. It's time for a cyber lie. All right, let's see. Cyber lie. Rainbow is just reflecting through water, not a creation of divine purpose. Uh oh. Uh, I don't actually have a, a scripture that responds to this. Uh, so let's ch let's talk about Genesis 1:27. That that won't work. Okay. I can't confront this cyber. I'm going to have to go over here. And confront this cyber. It's time for a cyber lie. You are a fluke of nature, just a random, meaningless event. Well, I I would disagree. I mean, technically everything's a fluke of nature, uh, unless of course ah whatever. Anyway, is a God created man in His own image. Now, I have my Bible power. We're gonna show him a thing or two with my Bible power. So I got attack, defend. Oh, that was his weak spot. Yeah. Ow. Just attack, just attack. Oh, there it was! Dang it! Ow. Ow! Man, this game is really hard. Any time now. That's how you defeat cyber lies. Well, yeah, there's nothing left. I gotta go pray. The Lord's gotta restore my faith. I, I got shot too many times. All right. All right, here we go. Yeah, it's just like real life. Your faith's low. Just ask the Lord to give you faith. and Bam, there it is. Uh, and if it doesn't, then you didn't have any faith to begin. Okay, that's probably gonna be triggered for some people. Yeah, trigger warning on this. Uh, definitely, if you have religious trauma, don't watch me play this. <laughs> All right, what do we got here? Ooh, another robot. All right, I'll take the robot. Uh, when Jesus died, he stayed dead. Uh, after all, nobody saw him after the crucifixion. Well, that's that's not true. We got we got written proof of that. So let's see. Uh, I but I I don't have written proof of that. So uh, allow me to read you Proverbs one ten. Don't give in to sinners. Ow! Shit! Man, I love that sound. <laughs> I need that in my daily life. I just need that sound. All right, I guess I'll go this way and uh, just keep walking. 
Oh, wow. That was, that was some top-notch and uh, surprisingly diverse content for me, Turbo Selbor. If you liked that, you should uh, subscribe and comment. And uh, yeah, just remember, gaming's for everybody, not just for like your older brother who has like a neck beard.